Hey everyone, it's Desiree. Um, a lot of my requests were for drawing and painting tutorials, but I figured I would do the few graphic tutorials that were actually requested right away since they're a lot easier. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to blend different backgrounds and different pictures together. So I have four pictures of Holland here. This one, this, this, and this one. Um, and I already have my canvas size set, so this is what I'm going to use, so if I have to resize them a bit. Um, I also have two PSDs here, just so I can kind of balance it out, because it's going to look a bit wonky if you just do this, especially like these two right here. This is a more natural coloring, this is like a, a more uh, desaturated. So, what you want to do first is kind of find your focus picture. Um, you don't have to use a focus picture, I just usually use that just so it's just not four. Um, you can also use this like as a signature and then go ahead and cut out or use a, a pre-made PNG just to put like a full focus in there. Okay, so I'm actually going to use, um, I think I'll just use this as this one as my focus. And so the first thing you want to do is move them all into place uh, of where you want them to be on the whatever you're making. I'm just making like a banner. Okay, I'll have this one just because it's easier and she's looking this way so I can just cut it out easier. Um, I'll also put this one over here. And I'm going to do like a softer blend, not so much as like cutting things out too, too much. Um, just because I know a lot of people don't like to do that and it like takes a long time and usually when I do that I redraw in some of the hair like some of the flyaways uh, so I don't really want to go into that right now but a soft blend is nice too especially if you add different actions PSDs like a bunch of text or whatever you want to do okay so I just made these all a little bit smaller so I can fit them in a little bit more let me move this one a little bit and this one Okay, since this one has a more of a background, like this is the one that has the most background, the rest of them just have basically solid solid colors, um, it's going to be a little bit trickier, but since this background is totally white, I can kind of blend it in with the, her shirt right here, so it won't be too hard. Okay, so these two can go there, and then move this one over. So I don't want to cut too much of the hair, of this hair, and move this one over. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to blend these two together first. So I don't want it too cut out because I can easily just, like, cut it out, basically. But since it's white a white background. I don't want it to look like it's an obvious cutout. So what I'm going to do is kind of do like a softer uh, a softer like blend. So I'm just going to select around her. I can come back and blend this shirt and select all this and do you don't don't go too crazy with the feather cuz if you go high like 10 up, it will actually select into her skin <clears throat> and you'll kind of erase the parts that you kind of need. So I'm just going to use five and use a soft round brush and kind of use it big and don't erase right here because then it adds that harsh blend again. So kind of start from over here and don't worry too much about like erasing the stuff here because I'm going to show you a little trick for that okay so let me just erase them a little bit there okay and now the, this white ones on the bottom I'm just gonna duplicate it and bring it back to the top and now I'm gonna select this but I'm gonna select I'm gonna try to just roughly trace what's going on in this picture and then feather it again but don't use so high I'll just use maybe like a three and I just want to erase this and I want this picture kind of to be in the in the like the forefront so 
I'm just going to select her sleeve here and I'm going to use a higher, maybe like 15. That way I can just get it a bit more. Okay, there. Now you can do, you can totally erase this whole part here. You know what I mean? And then, oh, not on that, on this. And then you could have her shirt, you know. But I don't, I just like the softer blend here because then it kind of goes with the rest of my pictures because I, again, I don't want to cut out too much. So let me just merge these because those two are done. Then I need to do this one. And this one's going to be pretty easy because this is, has a white background and I'm actually going to move this over a bit. And just do the same thing, select it. I'll have to go back and fix around there, but, and I'm going to cut this, her shoulder out right there, so just select that again, not with something too high, a 5 is fine, and again, a, hard, a soft round brush, and just erase all that, oh, and uh, I forgot to mention that my opacity is lower to 76, just a random number that I put it to. Um, but that will help out with, uh, like, kind of keeping you from going too crazy when you're erasing some stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to use a smaller brush. Still soft. And I just want to erase some of the parts where it goes over her hair too much. Because I don't want it to look like we just layered a bunch of pictures around. And then again, I'm going to cut her shoulder out. But I did erase her face a little bit right there. So I'm just going to go back to my original picture here and erase that. And now it does leave some transparency right there. But I'm going to flatten this anyway. And since it's light, like a lighter color, uh, using white won't affect it too much. You won't even be able to tell. Okay, so for here, I'm going to kind of select up like that, like the parts that I don't, aren't aren't going to cut off, but I just want to select all that. I'm going to use .2 this time, just because I want it to be crisp right here. And I'm going to erase all this, erase that so it's crisp, so I'm going to erase right on the line here. And then I'm just going to just erase like that, just so it feathers it off a little bit. And there's that. And now I need to... I'll just merge these just so don't have so many layers. And now I have this one back here. And I can easily just cut this out. Let me just move these over a little bit. There we go. I can just cut this whole picture out right here. But I think I'm just going to cut out her back. And have it crisp and just feather around her hair because I don't need her hair to be crisp. So I'm just going to select that 0 0.2, just delete the whole thing. And right there is actually crisp, so I'm going to go back. But just select that. I'll use, uh, I think, 4 is probably good. And just erase all this. Okay, and then I just need to go back and cut this. Now I know it's like not the, the smoothest transition, but once you add all your effects and stuff, it'll be fine. And I'm actually just going to move this over. I'm actually, you know what, I'll just make this a little bigger. And then I'll move this over, and then I'll have some more space for that one. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm just going to add a white background just because I know right here is a little bit transparent. Now, if you really, um, like, there's a bunch, like, right here, it's a bunch more, uh, like, a lot more pink. This picture here in the, on the left is 
has more like of a yellow hue this one has more of a red hue and this one's more of like a natural lighting natural color you can always go in with a um different adju adjustment layers to fix that but i'm just gonna add this and it kind um it definitely evens it out a lot but i know a lot of people like more natural stuff you don't really want to go in with like a heavy heavy coloring you know but i'm just going to color this over a little bit with a regular soft brush in the color black just because the blues here all the like the black and the shadows are more blue so i'm just going to do that on soft light just so that let me see oh, soft light over yeah i'll just do soft light and turn it down just a bit just so that it evens out more because this one was not it wasn't um didn't have like a high contrast like the I'll just show you guys these ones have more of a high contrast than this one and you can always let me just you can always just um, add a soft light layer right just duplicate this delete that because I don't need that to be a soft light but I do need this and that will kind of even it out even more so once you have that, let me just turn this down. You can add as many PSDs if you if you, uh, as you want. I just want to see if this one looks nice too. Um, kind of washes it out, but you pretty much that's really much pretty much all you do. So yeah, um, I'll definitely do more tutorials, more blending tutorials, more advanced stuff. Um, I just wanted to show you guys like the basics right here. Um, and if you have more graphic tutorials, just feel free to ask and I will do them. Um, I think I only have two or three. Um, more, like I said, a lot of people requested drawing tutorials, so... Yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video.